Hello friends, this video on reproduction in plants part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. <clears throat> the second method of artificial vegetative propagation is layering. So what is layering? Now what do we do in layering? Here basically new plants are formed from stems of the parent plant without detaching them initially from the parent. Like how you saw in cutting, in cutting what was happening, either stem or root of the plant was cut and separated from the parent plant and then it was uh, planted in some other soil where it gave rise to new plants. But in this case, we will help in producing new plant from the stem, but we will not separate the stem from the parent plant initially. So let's see how do we do that. This, is, this sounds interesting, right, that we are going to have a new plant, but we are not going to separate the stem from the parent. So how will that stem give rise to new plant until and unless we put it into the soil? So there are two ways of doing this. One is mound layering and the other is air layering. So let us look at both of these methods and we'll see how each of these help. So the first method is mound layering. And in, in fact, in with both of these methods can be applied to a lot of plants. And a variety of plants are grown by this method. For example, strawberry, guava, lemon, china rose. So these are all common examples of plants which are artificially reproduced using the method of layering. So let us look at mound layering. Now looking at this picture, can you guess what is mound layering? I think you can guess to some extent. So if you look at it, this is your parent plant, correct? So this was your parent plant and what did you do? You just took a stem of this plant and you forcibly put it under the soil. Now when you forcibly put it under the soil, what happens? And cover it with soil. So you see this part, this particular part of the plant is very well covered with soil and soil contains moisture, it contains water with all dissolved minerals. So over a period of time, what you observe is that roots start to develop from this part of the plant. That's because this part is getting, you know, all the nutrients, minerals, water, everything. So that's how after some time, roots will start developing from here and you actually have a new plant here. So when this new plant is completely formed and mature, then this is detached from the parent plant. So this is how mound layering takes place. The next method is air layering. So in air layering what is done is an aerial branch is scraped and covered with moist mud. So you see an aerial branch, something which is like in the air, which is not towards the soil. So this part has been scraped and, it, and you cover it with moist mud. So it is like uh, doing a bandage. So you are just doing a bandage with moist mud. Why moist mud? Because moist mud is nothing but it is like the soil with water. It is moist so it has water, it also has minerals, it has nutrients. So everything that is again needed for a plant's growth. So you just put a bandage of moist mud on this part of the plant and then you cover it with a plastic. After some time what you observe is new roots start to develop from this part. So you see roots start to develop because again roots get all the things that it is that is required for its growth whether it is water or minerals or nutrients so roots start to develop here. Now once roots start developing here and it becomes little mature this new plant is detached from the parent plant. So we have cut it from here and then we have put it separately. So you got a new plant. In fact a huge variety of plants can be grown by this method. So why this is called air layering? Because this entire process happened in air. Air means it, I mean, you did not pull the branch to the soil and you do not do all that. So the branch remained as it was. It was an aerial branch and it remained aerial. So since it happens with an aerial branch and while it remains in air, then only you put make this bandage of moist mud and that's how a new plant is formed. That is why it is called air layering. Now why is this entire process called layering? Because if you look at it, what we are actually doing is we are not cutting anything from the parent plant. So everything is with the parent plant, but we, we are just putting a layer of an additional thing for a new plant to form. In this case, we have just put a layer of moist mud in 
case of mound layering what did we do we just put a layer of soil to that particular branch so because of that the new plants were formed so this is how layering can help us to grow a lot of plants like strawberry lemon china rose etc thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.